I kind of, I kind of just, what's going on? What's going on, Keith? I kind of just um, answered that. See, like I said, if if there was no such thing as stabbings and shootings and that, if if the most trouble that a man could get into is a fist fight, I wouldn't care if my kid grows up in the end. I wouldn't care because you know what? I'll still make them go to um, um, give them private tuition and that. But I still want them to be street smart and that. But Obviously, we don't live in a, in, a, in, a, in a place where there's no stabbings and there's no shootings. And I'm talking about where little 15-year-olds and that could get caught up. Like our blood. Obviously, King, you grew up in the ends as well. You're from South, I think, innit, yeah? All over London, blood. Growing up, fam, 14, 15, between the age of 12 to 16, even 18 years old. But it weren't, it weren't, it weren't a nice experience growing up, growing up in the post-cold era. Blood, that was long, fam. That was long blood. Imagine just going down the road, a little bus ride, a five minute bus ride into another area. You could get caught up in some madness. That's got nothing to do with you, you know, just because you live on that side of town. Long, long blood. You be there, your mum will ask you, ah, oh, can you go down to Wolverhampton and pick this whatever, in it? It's a hypothetical situation, isn't it? Jay, can you go to Wolverhampton? I need you to pick this up from near Wolverhampton Central. But you be holding your shit in your eye because you think it's yourself like blood. If I go there, man, put it on me and that, bro, it's going to be peak blood. Or just even go in Tottenham or whatever. And especially, especially if the area that you're from and the other area, there's tension going on because someone recently got stabbed or shot and that. But you get caught up in a crossfire just because, you know what I'm saying? You're not even a gang member. You're not even a GM. They don't even know your face. But man's gonna come, you're walking on the on the highway, man gonna G check you. It's long. One place I used to hate going. Oh my god, manor house. One of my aunties in it, yeah. Big up to my auntie that like, is a manor house. I love it. I hated having to go down there sometimes, in it. Like, because manor house, if you know where manor house is in North London, yeah, their their area is an estate, so you're slipping, bro. I literally, man used to go there sometimes, and there's 20 men just chilling, bro. And you know you're just standing at a bus stop on your jacks, fam. And literally, you're just waiting, fam. You're, you're, you're looking. Well, you know you shouldn't be looking because you're just going to antagonise them. and that, But you're kind of keeping an eye on them, but you don't want to look too much. And, that. and you're just waiting. You're praying, fam. You're hoping that this 259, 279 comes quickly. And that, and that. But before that bus has come, someone's going to shout, hey, where are you from? It's long. It could be long. It could be long. You're only lucky if, if them man there in a good mood, fam. I used to hate it. shit like that. You can't even go check your auntie and that just because you're from a different area. It's long, fam. Who, who's this? This Theo, Theo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old, the old, the old four, old night era. Oh, what? Um, Shan, how old are you? You're like um, 27, 28, 29. I swear you're like around my age, group. But yeah, like I said, man, yeah, I would, if there was no stabbings and shootings and it was just a case of a man having to, because I feel like as a man, you need to be roughed up. You need to grow in a rough area. You need to know how to defend yourself. You need to know how to be street smart and that. So growing up in the ends is good, but not when you could be stabbed and shot. Nah, 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 that's long term. That's long term. I don't mind if my son goes out and has to defend himself because someone's picking on him. That's cool. Because in life, someone's always going to try to test you. Or someone's going to always try to bully you bully you yeah the bullying thing don't just stop when you're an adult you know what i'm saying you don't just graduate from being 18 to 21 and then all the bullying stops no furthermore you could get bullied in your yard yeah forget about even the streets and gangs and that there's people that get bullied by their older siblings i know girl that get bullied by their younger sibling i know girl have been beaten up by their younger sibling yeah you get bullied at school obviously that's that's that, that's a common one um and Again, when you graduate from school, college, uni, and that, your, your manager might bully you. So you, you have to learn how to stand up to bullies and that. So I wouldn't mind raising my child in, in the ends, on the ends, if it was just a place where it's just a fisting up thing in it. But when men are getting stabbed and shot and that, nah, that's long, fam. That's long, blood. Like, oh, you can recover from a fight. So long as you don't get bang dropped and your head split on the curb and that, uh, you can recover from a fight. Yeah, man, I have plenty of fights. You know what I'm saying? So, man, it's good. But, 
get me. All it takes is one stab wound. I know, man. Get me one chest shot. That's all it takes. You might get lucky. I know a man, one of the men then got stabbed 19 times with knives and screwdrivers and he's fine. And I know our next man, one chest shot. Couple man, one chest shot. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. So yeah, I don't want to put my son or my son in a position where, boy, you know, if someone challenges him and that and he's ready to stand toe to toe with them, they're not even thinking about putting out their dukes. They're thinking about pulling out a knife and stabbing him in his chest. But if it was a case of just fisting up, man, would not mind, fam. Like I said, some of the best times growing up was, was you know, being on the ends and that. Whether, whether it was your ends or our next ends. I used to go check one of my cousins at that big up my cousin, Dev. Wanted, I used to go down to this estate called Ferry Lane Estate in Tottenham. Like that's that's where you learn shit, blood. That's, my cousin, he's only like six weeks older than me, but he's a year above man in school. He went to a different school than man. Okay, he's from a different area. He will taught man how to ride a bicycle and that. That's why man learned how to play runouts and them thing there, man. So yeah, man, growing up on the ends, growing up on the estate is good. So long as they're not stabbing and shooting, that's cool. With it. If a man try to test you, you got you got to learn how to, to to fist man up. You got to learn how to defend yourself. Win, lose, or join it. We ain't getting taken off. But yeah, man. Um, yeah, my am twenty nine. Get me um, happy birthday in advance, fam. Me personally, I'm turning thirty in September. I ain't doing jack shit. I ain't doing jack shit. I don't miss about no birthday at all. But yeah, if you want to celebrate your birthday, celebrate your thing, fam. But me, my no business about no birthday, fam. Uh, oh shit. Let me see this. Do you think the gangs will move outside on the gentrification? I mean, you never know. There's some man that might move out of the ends and then start up gangs elsewhere. I heard a couple man from the ends, not just Edmonton, but like other little areas. They've moved from London to Nottingham and they're a gang member over there, isn't it? So easily. I've heard that there's man like come from Stockwell, gone to Enfield, gassed up all the Enfield youths. Now the Enfield youths are bad. Yeah, back in the day and that. So yeah, that, that can happen. Man can move from one area to another area and start gassing up people. Now there's now there's a gang in that area. 